Back in 2022, I made a review on the Bearskin Hoodie 2.0. And then again, just in this past October of 2023, I made a review on the Bearskin Hoodie 3.0. You've seen their plethora of ads and there are a ton of YouTube reviews out there. You know the hoodies have a thousand pockets and that it's the only base layer that you're ever going to need, but is it worth all of their hype and is it worth their value of $300? Let's talk about Bearskin. So before we get into the whole discussion, I just want to say a little bit of like preliminary information. First off, I've worked with Bearskin for a couple years now and I've been using their Bearskin hoodie on and off for like the past two years. If you are new to my channel but are familiar with Bearskin products, you may recognize me. I create advertisements for social media for a living and I have made several ads for Bearskin specifically. This YouTube channel here is 100% separate from the ads that you might have seen on Facebook or YouTube or wherever else on social media. I also want to mention that in the past, I have been paid by Bearskin to make reviews on the Bearskin hoodie, but those reviews have always been my own personal opinion. I know that sounds kind of weird and dishonest, but it is the truth and I think Bearskin was just like, hey, if we toss him some extra cash, he'll probably say some nicer things about our products. Now with that said, this video is not sponsored in any way whatsoever. This is all my own personal opinion. All right, I'm gonna get this thing out of the way. This is the, the bearskin hoodie, if you guys didn't know. Move that to the side. Now let's talk about bearskin. So first off, they make good stuff. Their hoodies aren't 100% perfect, but nothing really is. However, I don't think it should be showcased as the only layer that you're going to need, or however they phrase it. I am a believer in layers. I live in Wisconsin in the Midwest where it gets cold, and it's at the very least irresponsible to go outdoors in bad conditions with only a fleece jacket on. And that's exactly what it is. It's a fleece jacket. If you go outside and it's going to rain, you're going to need a raincoat, and if you're outdoors and it's below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna need some other layers underneath. So I just don't like how Bearskin says that it's the only layer that you're going to need. But like I said, they are very nice jackets. I do see some comments about people saying that theirs doesn't fit them very well, but for me, mine does fit me pretty good. They block the wind like Bearskin claims, the material is durable, it's soft. The zippers used to suck on the 2.0 version, but they fixed that with the 3.0 and the zippers work very well. And there are a ton of pockets. If you like pockets, that's cool. I'm just not the kind of person to stuff all of my pockets with my gear or whatever it is I have with me. Basically, wherever I go, if I have more than my wallet, keys, and sunglasses, I bring a backpack with me. I just don't like stuffing my pockets full of all of my things, so I don't really need or care for the 12 pockets. But some people like that. For example, I gave one of these bearskin hoodies to my brother, and right away, one of the first things he said was how he likes all of the pockets. When he goes outside for a run, he wears the jacket, and you can put all of his things inside of those pockets rather than either to have to bring a backpack with him or some sort of waist pack. For me, I just wouldn't go out for a day hike and have all of my stuff stuffed into this jacket. I would just rather wear a backpack. All in all, I do think that this is a good fleece jacket. But as for Bearskin's sales tactics, I don't, I do have a few problems with it. Mainly, I don't like how they have that perpetual 60% off sale always going on. The hoodie is never not on sale. I understand that this is a sales technique, but it just feels a little dishonest to say that your product has a value of $300, but you can get it right now for $100 when your product is always on sale. Aside from that, everything else that Bearskin claims seems to be legit. Okay, so next up I want to tackle some of the, the comments and claims that I get on those reviews because I do get a lot of comments on those videos. Those videos are actually, those two reviews are my number one and number two most viewed videos on my YouTube channel. Most people who comment on review videos are only there to say negative things, and that's just kind of how people are. You never really get to see what the good things that people have to say about a product. A common comment that I get in the videos is issues with the shipping. Some people say that they get theirs within a week of ordering them. Some people also say that it's been they've been waiting for several weeks. I'm pretty sure that these ship from China, so if you're ordering here in the US, it's gonna take some time to get there. Also, around fall and winter, I know there's probably a very high demand and a lot of orders coming in, so they might need to catch up with the demand. I don't know the ins and outs of this kind of thing, it's just all my own speculation. And I'm not here to defend Bearskin and their shipping, but this is not Amazon Prime. 
20 years ago, if you were to order something, you'd have to wait a minimum of two weeks to get pretty much anything sent to you. Some people comment complaining that it's been a week since they ordered theirs, and it's only been one week. A small amount of comments that I get are issues with refunds that people have already sent their product back and they have not received their refund and it's been a decent amount of time. I definitely think that you should receive a refund basically as soon as the product is back in the company's hands. I think that's just good practice. But it doesn't always work that way. Bearskin does tell you that they need to receive the item and then inspect it and then request a refund which is based on the bank's processing time. So these things just take some time to do. When I was a personal trainer, some of the clients we would have would ask to refund the personal training session that they already bought. And the refund, we would always tell them, would take four to six weeks in order to process. And that was just for a digital purchase. There was no physical product. So these things just, unfortunately, they just take some time. Again, I'm not here to, to defend Bearskin, but these are just issues that come up and comments that I've seen quite a bit. And lastly, there are a handful of comments about bad customer service, that the response time is slow and that it doesn't really even help them. All the communication that I've had with Bearskin, which has just been through email, has always been great. They're super nice and they seem like really cool people, but that's also on my end, which is kind of the like behind the scenes of everything. I don't have a solution or an answer if Bearskin does have poor customer service, but I know for a fact that it sucks being left in the dark after you've ordered something and you're just kind of waiting, hoping that it will actually show up and that someone didn't just steal your money. I definitely think it's very important, especially today for every single business to have good customer service, especially when everything we do these days is online and you don't wanna just make a purchase and have no information until hopefully something shows up like two or three weeks later. So customer service is very important and should be something that needs to have more of an emphasis put on it. But with that said, Bearskin has one product. They sell a hoodie, they sell a jacket. And that's the only thing. So it's probably a team of only like two or three people in reality. It's not like they have an entire office floor of customer service agents just waiting to pick up the phone. Again, I'm not defending them. This is just my assumption of why things might just take a while. With a company that sells one product, there can't be many people working on it. All right, everyone, that's basically everything that I have to say about Bearskin and their tactical hoodie. Overall, I have really enjoyed working with Bearskin and I definitely look forward to working with them on future projects. I know that they have other stuff coming out and I am very impressed with one of their new products. And I'm sure there's many people out there who won't agree with some of the things that I said inside this video, but I figured rather than respond to comments or just not respond to the negative ones, I would actually voice my opinion and get a, a better explanation in this video. So thank you all for taking the time to listen to me today. I appreciate all of you who made it this far in this video. See you in my next one.